Hello everyone! In today's video, we're gonna see how to make tables in HTML. And we're gonna also see how to style these tables. And we're gonna also take it a step further because we're gonna see how to merge, like for example, two cells in the table, like in Excel sheet. So make sure to stay till the end of this video because this video will have a lot of information. Make sure also to comment my videos because from now on, I'm gonna be giving shout outs to people who first comment my videos. So be the first one to comment my video and you're gonna get a shout out. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I release my videos. So to add a table in HTML, we're gonna use the tag table. So we're gonna go inside the body and use the tag table. As you might know, a table is made of a certain number of rows. So to add rows to the table, we're gonna add the, the tag tr. Okay, so let's say that our table is made of three rows. So we're gonna add three tr tags like this. One tr and the second one and the third one tr stands for table row so this way we have created three rows so so far our table has three rows so each row of them will contain a certain number of information or data so we're gonna go to the first row and add a certain number of information let's say that we have three people we know the age of every one of them and we know everyone where where they are living so we know the location of everyone so we want to add this data to our first row let's say that the first person I'm gonna start with me so my name is Salma I'm gonna add a data about my name so to add a data to the first row we're gonna use the tag table data which which is TD so TD stands for table data and inside of this table data we're gonna add my name so my name is Salma we're gonna add another data about myself which is my age so my age is 28 and we're gonna add another data about my location so my location is France so this is our first row so as you can see our first row which is this one is made of three data so let's go to our second row our second row is this one so the second person we're gonna say that second the second person his name is John and we're gonna add this data inside the TD tag so John so his age is 45 and let's say that he lives in USA so this is our second row and then our third row let's say that we have a person his name is Nicholas and he is 30 years old and he lives in Spain so let's save all this and refresh in the browser and you see we have our data here so as you can see here in the editor our first row is this one and it has the information about name, age, and location. So the name is Salma, which is this one in the browser. The age is 28, which is this one. And the location is France, which is this one. And our row is this one. Our entire row is this one. Same thing for the second row. So the name of the person is, is John the age is 45 and the location is USA and the name of the third person is Nicholas and the age is 30 and the location is Spain so 
we have our information inside a table now but our table is a little bit ugly because there are no borders so let's just add some borders to it to look better so to add borders we're gonna use the CSS and we're gonna go to our tags style and inside of style we're gonna we're gonna use the border property so we want to add the border to our table and tr and td okay so we can just type this table tr td border and let's let's say that we want our our border to be two pixels and the kind of our border is solid and the color is red so i'm gonna explain all this let's just refresh to see the outcome so here is our table so the border property takes three parameters always the first parameter is how thick you want the border to be so do you want it two pixels thick or maybe do you want it uh, let's say let's change it and choose five pixels and let's refresh you see or maybe you want it uh, 10 pixels thick or maybe just one pixel so you see so here we're gonna leave two pixels two pixels is okay so let's let's refresh and after that solid is the type of the border because there are many types so solid means one line okay there, there is no interruption there are other types of borders like dashed like this so let's refresh to see there are also there is also another type dotted like this and there is also inset like this which is a 3d outcome there is also outset and so on and the third parameter is the color so do you want it green like this or maybe blue or red all right so for the moment I'm, I'm gonna leave it red and I'm gonna choose the solid type and let's refresh so as you can see we have now our border which is in red but if you have noticed we have this uh, layer blank here so I'm gonna just uh, zoom in a little bit to show you so we have like this border is separate from this one is separate from this one you see it, it's like if we have each border apart so if you want to have one border we should make all this border collapse and become only one border so we can do something like this we can just use our table element select it and say that we want our border to collapse so we're gonna use the border collapse property and border collapse property can take two values which are either uh, separate or collapse so as we want to have our border collapsed so we we're gonna choose the collapse value like this so let's refresh and you see so here we have one border there are no more spaces between uh, every data and between every border okay so just to come back a little bit here so as you can see i have selected table and tr and td in the same time and what i did is that i added all of them in one line and all what i did is to put a comma between them why i did that because i'm going to apply the same css property to each one of them so there is no need to create uh, three lines for each element apart and add the property so we could have done that it would have been also correct like we could have removed this and added tr like this with the same uh, property and characteristics and we could have added another line which is td selected our td and added our border also with the same 
properties and characteristics. And if we would have refreshed here, you see the results are the same because um, or what we have done is we have separated our elements. So we have added each one in one row, in one line, okay, apart. But as the property is the same as the border, uh, property is going to take the same parameters, always two pixels, always solid, always the color, the same color, which is red. So there, combine these uh, elements here and separate them with a comma. So TR and then TD. So here we have our table now. And as you can see, we have data here inside our table. So maybe there is something missing is that it's going to be better if we could look to the table and say that this column contains the name data and this column contains the age and this column contains the uh, country. All right. So we need something like a header header to each column like to say like to add something here to say to say name and something here to say age and something here to say uh, country so to add a header to each column we can do that and we're gonna do it using the th tag so what we're going to do is like if if we want to add data here and here and here so it's like if we have to add another row and into the row we have to to add the data which is name age and uh, location so we're gonna add a row here at the beginning of our table so this is the row that we added and inside of our row we're gonna add the th and th stands for table header okay so we have th which is going to be about name and another th about age and another th about location like this so let's refresh here and you see we have name age and location and as you can see the font weight is bold so th is going to be always bold so as you can see the data here the font weight of the data is normal but the font weight of the header table header is bold okay so to add borders to the th we're gonna add only the th here because it's gonna have the same border properties the border will be just two pixels thick and it's gonna be solid and it's gonna be red also so we can only just add th here and refresh and you see now by looking to the table we can say that this column is a name and this one is age and this one is location so sometimes uh, we want to just merge a column or a row like let's say for example let's suppose that this is a cell and this is another cell and this is another cell so sometimes you just want to merge these uh, two cells or maybe these three cells sometimes we might not have some information about something like let's say for example let's suppose that here uh, we don't have uh, much information about nicholas we don't have we don't know uh, his age and we don't know that actually he lives in spain so sometimes we can have only something like this uh, let's remove these two data refresh and then we can have something like this so we we have information about Salma we have information about John but we don't have information about Nicholas and so in this case we just want Nicholas to occupy all this space all the last line entire line okay so how can we do that so it's like we're gonna merge uh it's like we we have this is the first cell and here is the second cell and here is the third cell it's like just in excel so we have three cells and we want to merge 
this cell with these two to remove this blank and to allow this cell to occupy all the last line okay so how can we do that so we can just come here to td and add a, an attribute which is call span okay and this attribute takes a value and this value is the number of cells that we want uh, nicolas to occupy so nicolas is already in the first cell and so it's gonna occupy the first cell and it's it's gonna also occupy the second cell and the third cell so at the end nicolas will take all this space which means three cells all right so we're gonna give it the number three and we're gonna save and refresh and you see our table at the end looks like this we could have done it also in the vertical way like for example let's say that salma is 28 and john is also 28 so let's just um, change this to 28 like this so salma is 28 and john is also 28 so we can have merged these both uh, cells to give us only one cell with one data because anyways we have the same data we have 28 so what we could have done is remove the uh, cell john's cell john's age like this okay and uh, save everything and then refresh and so the this cell that was here usa came here but it's not gonna stay here for a long time because you're gonna see you're gonna see so uh we wanna merge this cell with this one so all we what we have to do is to come here and to use the row span attribute so we have the call span and we have the row span so the row span attribute works in the same way as the uh, call span attribute so we want to merge uh, this cell with this one which means that this cell uh, will occupy two spaces this one and this one so we're gonna go give the row span the number two or the value two like this and save and then refresh and you see we have the same information for salma and john okay they are both 28 so that's all for this video i hope you liked it if so drop a thumb up and leave me comments and subscribe to my channel and share my videos